What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. We're actually doing the candlelight tour tonight at the Winchester Mystery House, but in the meantime, we're actually super hungry, so we're actually kind of craving some sushi. So we're here at uh, Japantown right now. There seems to be a little festival. I think it's called the Aki Matsuri Festival. Kind of catching the tail end of it, so there ain't much going on right now. But we're gonna go get some sushi at this uh, one spot, because uh, I'm hungry. I see a light in your eyes. I follow you so then foolishly. At least I just got the plate of salmon skin. Yummy. Num nums. This one is actually one of our favorites because it's some kind of seared fish. I don't know what kind of fish it is. It's not salmon, but it's really good. It has a good like, smoky seared flavor. Mom.com. You don't even need soy sauce or anything. The scallop, the scallop one's pretty good. It's kind of spicy. But uh, might be a little too spicy for you, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty hot. It's very buttery. I got the sushi mealy because it has crunchy texture to it. That's pretty much why I got it. I love spicy food and all, and I love jalapenos, but uh, fresh jalapenos is on another level. It's like so much spicier. Okay, we decided to splurge a little when we get uni. It's like $7.50 for two pieces. Nice and creamy though. The whole thing about sea urchin is it's kind of an acquired taste, I guess. It's very oceany flavor. It tastes like the way the pier smells. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make this my last plate because it's kind of getting expensive and I'm slowly getting full. But can't go wrong with uh, unagi. It's always like the all-time favorite. We actually just finished our lunch and we're gonna go get some teriyaki. Woo! <laughs> this is our go-to dessert spot now. We haven't gotten crepes in like months. Within the smoke, our dreams reveal. I wanted to get my own so we each have one, but there's like no, we have to share. We have to share. Too many carbs. Since Jeff's on a diet, he's gonna get a third of it. Hell no. One third of it. Girl, are you tripping? I'm not on a diet. Girl, are you tripping? And I wanted my own. I don't Literally one of the best desserts I've ever had. So if you look over here. Go over there. That's the line for Cafe Michael, which is alright in my opinion. I guess it's a matter of preference, but they have a kind of a heavier dessert. Like their ice creams are on the thicker side. The ice cream's a little bit um, bitter also. However, I prefer the one behind us. Uh, I'll be? I don't know how to pronounce it. This one is way better. It's like another ballpark. It's not even the same ballpark, actually. Yeah, so go there. Uh, the ice cream's a little bit lighter. They have shaved milk. Uh, uh, it's just a more refreshing taste than what we have over here, which I believe is really overhyped. Uh, I think everyone's just like, oh my gosh, it's, I believe it's a chain of dessert places. So I guess that's why there's more excitement about it. But our go to at Aoi is the. Was it? Teramisu? Matcha tiramisu. Matcha tiramisu, which is like a roasted matcha, which you can really taste. Um, there is lady fingers, soft serve, and shaved milk topped with matcha powder. And. Jeff always make me share with him even though I don't want to and I want my own. It is a little bit on the more expensive side because it's like $9.50 each. I will happily pay for that if I can get my own, but I guess this is in our marriage vows or something that we have to share stuff. Yep. Time to come here, at least, at least finds one manga to get. I'm controlling myself. <laughs> her and her girly mangas. My girly mangas. You were holding skip beat. I made the last one. <laughs> I don't read that much manga because I don't have that much time, but when I do, I always have to read Jinji Ito because it's very dark horror, creepy images. And it's just it's so good. What did you get? Skip She got the, the newest this is Skip the Beat. Recent one. The most recent one. I've been reading it online, but they're really slow to update. So I was like, screw it, I'm gonna get the actual. Oh, uh, okay. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. <laughs> this is the newest uh, Jujito manga. 
and I actually, I just heard about it recently, but I actually have not read it yet. And it's the only Junji Ito comic that I have not read. So it should be pretty good. He's a really creepy illustration. Very creepy artist. Weird. And I'm so sad that they canceled Silent Hills because he was gonna be the artist for Silent Hills. All right, we're gonna wrap it up here. We're gonna head back to Lisa's parents' house and just hang out with the family, play with Miko for a little bit. At least just got a new backpack for Miko that he can actually ride in the back. So we're gonna try to see if he'll stay put um, and see how he even likes it or not. Yeah, see nice. if we go this side. Go, go, go. <laughs> He's like, nope. I'm not going in there. Just jump in the hole. <laughs> this smells like animal cruelty. <laughs> you open that up, he's gonna jump right out. Rico. How does he look? He looks, I don't know. He's like, what the hell is going on in here? Okay, it looks like Miko is kind of getting the hang of it. A little bit. His front legs, or front paws are hanging out right now, but he's just... He's just chilling though. I'm just trying to get him used to it. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Wow. Here he is. We have just arrived at the Winchester Mystery House. We're gonna be starting our candlelight tour in about 20 minutes. Just gonna wait for some friends and head on in. We're gonna go check out the gift shop first though. Special guest here today, my homeboy Ramin, the local San Jose boy, but has never been to this Winchester house. So how was uh, the tour? Man, I laughed, I cried. I took a look at this beautiful house right here, man. All I'm gonna say is I was gonna watch football tomorrow, but I'm going to church for sure. <laughs> it's Sunday. I'm trying to get this sins off, man. I just, I got, I need an exorcism or something. <laughs> this shit, I feel, I feel weird. But it was fun, man. Look at this. Uh, inappropriate statue or it looks inappropriate at least I don't know what this goose is doing all right guys I'm gonna wrap it up here for the day sorry that I don't have any video footage because they actually prohibit any video or, or pictures inside of the mansion so you have to check it out yourself to see what it's like I'd actually recommend the day tour uh, first just so you can actually see everything uh, clearly whereas the night tour is obviously very dark and they don't have too much lights on in there so can't really see too much except for all the black light and everything and they set it up like very Halloween theme parkish um, so I'm not sure how I feel about that I think it was kind of cool just kind of goes with the, the Halloween theme but at the same time um, I kind of like just to walk through the the building at night just as is like a regular house anyways uh, I'm gonna wrap it up and go home because it's already like 1 30 in the morning and we still have a 45 minute drive home until next time Peace. Subscribe to Baby Blue Chef. No spaces. Just no. Just no. <laughs>